<laughs> so wow. Oh my god, like I had a good ass night tonight. Let me just I say I'm gonna do one, um one second, I'm gonna play some music because I want to hear some music for real. How many people ready for this joint right here? How many people recognize this song? This shit right here is cool. So I'm like out at the club tonight, right? Oh my god, I had like such a good ass time. I went out with me and my daughter Stacy, um, Giselle. Oh my god, like I had a good time. It is like a total, it's like a change. Um, from being home to being here. Oh shit. It's like, I can't even explain it. Oh my god. It's like you can tell I'm like so fucked up. Um, I was drinking. What the fuck was I drinking? Um, hurricane or some shit? Yeah. So I'm in the club, right? The good part was, um, nobody really knew who I was. And people who knew who I was, it's not, it's like a difference. When I'm at home and people know who I was, you know, the first thing they say is, oh, girl, hey, Kenya. You know, just being gay. So I'm here, and all the people here, you know, because I performed here a lot. Um, I'm in the club, and everybody who can see me, um, even if they knew me or not, the first thing, is this is why I, respect people. The first thing that they said was, um, I'm not trying to disrespect you, you know, I see you doing your thing. What, what is the proper way for me to address you now? What's your name? That meant a lot to me. And several people came up and did that to me. Um, maybe like two or three people. I thought of that, a lot of other people didn't know. Um, and anybody who came up and said that was somebody, because somebody had said, oh, you know, this is Kenya. Um, she's giving the passion up tomorrow. And I was, I, was, I was okay with that, you know, because I knew what I was here for. But then, um, this one bitch in the club. Oh, my God, this bitch pissed me the fuck off. We was, me and Giselle was walking. I, you know, because you can't smoke in the club. Mind you, I'm thinking that you can smoke in the club. And I took my cigarette out, lit it, sitting at the bar. Somebody walked in and said, you can't smoke in here. I was like, why not? And I'm noticing I see no ashtrays around. And nobody else was in there smoking. I was like, okay. So, um, <laughs> I'm walking past this bitch and she gonna walk past and she said, mm-hmm, that's her. She thinks she a boy now. And I didn't think she was talking to me and Giselle said, well, did you hear that? And I was like, Mm, she wasn't talking to me. And um, Giselle said, well, I don't know. I think she was. But then I paid it. Come, we walk. Um, for some reason, this bitch will always, every time I turn around, this bitch is right next to me. So she said it again. And I'm looking at her. This some ugly ass queen. This bitch face all sunk all in. Skin fucked up. Light skinned it. Short. I was like, bitch. Um, and she said it again. She's telling her girlfriend. She's like pointing. Because I was like, um, maybe two feet away from her. This bitch is pointing. And I'm looking at her on her face. I was like, you do not even know what you are about to get yourself into. Because, bitch, I would twirl you in here. I am probably, let me tell you something, honey. I just told somebody this, too. Um, I have yet to clown in the club. I think that that is so, um... It, that's just not even me. I'm not even the type of person to, to cut up. Bitch, if we're gonna fight, I mean, if you provoke me, then yeah, I'll bust a move with you. But in the club, you tearing up my clothes. I'm, that's just unclassy to me. But bitch, she kept trying it on my time, and then she said it again, and I looked at her, and she looked me in my face like we actually, um, you know, the club toward the end it got so packed. And so we walk in, and this bitch is right here in my face. And then she looked at me and rolled her eyes. I was like, you bitch, you got me fucked up. I will stomp your punk ass in here. Don't get it twisted. I hate disrespectful sissies. That's ex oh, I fucking hate disrespectful sissies. I swear to fucking God. Oh, I did it. The good part about that is I didn't let that ruin my evening. Um, because she was... I knew that she was... A, she was miserable, because if I was her, I'd have been miserable too, if you just saw this bitch. She just looked like she had been beat with about eight ugly sticks, and compared, you know, her looking at me, and she's like, damn, you know, bitch, because when I'm walking in the club, um, I'm getting love from all over the place, um, Oh my God, like I'm getting mad motherfucking love. And it's not even, these are people that I, I've never met these people in my life. Uh, 
how can I put this? Um, I think like niggas was just on me, you know. And I don't want to boost my own horn. You know I am a fine motherfucker. And if you didn't know, you know now. I'm very arrogant, cocky, whatever. But I'm fine as hell. And I think that like that had a lot to do with it. But oh, bitch, <laughs> I was outside on the patio at 2020. I was talking to my friends in the back, and these two dudes, they was like, um, the one dude was like, uh, they was arguing, and, uh, I told you that I said, where by the door, because if you've ever been in 2020, you know, in the back, they had to use the smoke outside in the back, so, um, next thing you know, the boy said, um, <laughs> this boy is like 6'9", bitch, you know I'm only like 5'9", this boy is like 6'9", big fat cocky motherfucker so the boy was um the other boy was like fuck you bitch and he said no bitch fuck like me before i turned to before i could turn around and say told them i'm about to see you that bitch had clocked her in the back um where we was at and she's got to whooping her and i was like i didn't want to be stuck back there where they was boxing bitch because i was like and it's only one way out of that bitch it's like oh bitch let me move because i i didn't want to get caught in the crossfire and want this big old bitch to suck me Cause something that now nah, I can hold my own, but that bitch was a big old hoe, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Other than that, like, um, I'm like really excited about tomorrow. I think there's gonna be a lot of people. It's gonna be really cool. I am so tired. I'm so drunk. I swear to God. Um, this just confirms everything that I've ever thought about Atlanta. I'm getting the fuck out of there. I saw my. I saw my dude Courtney um, in the club too. Shout out to Courtney! Oh my god, I saw so many motherfuckers tonight. I had such. You did not understand. Like, I got so much love. I had so much fucking fun. We got fucked up. I'm just like, I don't even know how the fuck I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. Well, I do, but I'm like so fucked up. You do not understand. I didn't mean. <laughs> Oh my god, and I have to be up and drag tomorrow, but you know what I'm gonna do? As soon as I get up, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna document me getting in drag. This is gonna be some funny shit. Like, from start to finish, I'm documenting me getting in drag. Bitch, this is gonna be hilarious. I'm gonna be in full drag, hitting it down to registration. You guys, thank you so much for all your love and support, you know, throughout this whole trip. I'm gonna go to bed, because I feel like a million and one motherfucking bucks. Um, it's not about the validation that you, that I got from people, it's about, you know, it just goes to show me I need to get the fuck out of Atlanta. I still have another year there. Um, I knew it wasn't me, I knew it was those shady ass motherfuckers there who don't want to see people progress. Um, not everybody, not but some. Oh my god. So I'm about to go to sleep, take my sexy ass to bed. I will see y'all later. Bitch, turn this motherfucking camera off.